everybody in here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you papa's going bonkers yep he wants to go outside um we had a terrible terrible storm come through just a little bit ago the skies got totally dark and the wind and the rain and all that kind of stuff so i need to go check the chickens and see what's going on with them and just have a look around make sure that nothing is damaged look at these chickens <laughs> It's like, they think I'm going to give them food, but I'm not. Who do we got? Who do we know? Okay, so Coco must be inside laying an egg. Let's go see. There's Coco. What you doing, girlfriend? Hmm? Did you lay me an egg? Oh, looks like somebody kicked that egg out. It's a fake one. Oh, I think she just dumped it over. Goodness. All right, this is a mess back here, but this is what I've done. <laughs> I I just got that little box over here, and I've got the wooden chicken coop right here. And Miss Pris is in the back. She's still in her box, but she's been eating and drinking because I had to give her some more food today. So hopefully this is enough room. But before the chicks come, if there are going to be chicks, I am definitely going to clean this entire area out with fresh bedding. I wish I could see. I can see her, but I don't think you can. She's just back there. Sitting in that box, doing just fine. Look at that oregano. Yup, it is definitely coming back. I don't know about the rosemary. Maybe. Very happy about that. And the peppermint. Oh, look at The sun is coming out. The sun. That little patch of thyme is doing really good. That's oregano. Peppermint. And looky. This bucket of thyme is coming back, too. Check this out, though. This all held up. I cannot believe this is still up. <laughs> and it's just supported by that. All that wind, and it still stayed up. I'm impressed. But there is all kinds of stuff. I don't know if you can see through that plastic. All kinds of stuff are coming up everywhere. And they're growing, and they're getting big. So this greenhouse thing is working great. Check this out, you guys. Can you see that? The beauty berry is officially coming back. It's coming back to life. It's got leaves on it. So yes, my beauty berry plant made it. This one, ah, passion fruit vine. I don't think so. This peppermint is doing really great too. Remember, this is the bucket that Mr. Lucas gave me and it is growing great. I can't wait to take this tarp off and look at all this stuff underneath. I'm not gonna do it today. I just don't need to. Um, but things are really, really growing well. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you, Jesus. Whoo! Look at this. That is swollen. Thank goodness for this little drainage creek or whatever. And look, you guys. I got my waterfall back. And there's another one down there. Yeah, that water is coming fast. Oh, it's all up and over here. Wow, this is like a swamp back here. And I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put my parents when they come, and my son, maybe if he comes too, uh, so they can camp out here. They're going to be bringing tents. Boy, so much flooding back here. But this spot remains dry. This is going to be a great spot. I think if I just clear this whole area out, really well that this will work out just fine for them see they've got all this spot that's higher so but look at this look at all that water this is how it was when I first moved here remember remember you guys look at little waterfalls all over the place look even this one over here that is usually bone dry oh so much water coming through here I wish it was like this all the time. Seriously, I think it's kind of pretty. Yep, all the way back there. Look at that. Oh, there's some trash. Uh, probably comes from my neighbor's yard. But this is all really, really wet. But I love the sound of flowing water, so this is a blessing. You got to take your blessings where you can find them, right? Just look at all of this. Waterfalls everywhere. Oh, this is pretty. Look at over there. I love it. Love it. 
It's going to dry up in a day or two, though. But I can at least enjoy it for right now. Today is going to be a great day to go find some more worms to put in the worm bin. So that's what I'm going to do next. I won't show you all of it, but I'll show you how many worms I find and if I got some big ones. So, yeah. And then tomorrow, hopefully, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, too, uh, it'll be a good day to go look for mushrooms. I got, oh, I don't know, maybe about a dozen worms in there. But I went ahead and picked a bunch of clover and greens and whatnot for the chickens because I'm going to keep them in the yard and I want to keep them happy. There's a few snails and slugs in there too. They're going to love this. Here you go, pretty chickens. Come get your salad. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> they love, love, love this stuff. Time to put the worms in the bin. Okay, there's my worm bin. I had put this box up here to just kind of block off some of the holes. Something has built a nest in there. Oh my goodness. What is that? Do mice build nests like this? You think it's a bird's nest? I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just put my gloves on and just gently move this so I can open the top and put it right back on there. Hopefully it won't disturb anything. Okay, the worms are in the bin and um, I just lifted the lid off with this on top of it. But it definitely looks like a nest. It looks like a bird's nest. I wonder, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. It's rained just a little bit off and on here and there. So I was inside, I was outside. So I got bored and I decided to pickle some eggs, you guys. I didn't do the whiskey pickled eggs because honestly, I really like the flavor of the eggs that I make either with white vinegar or apple cider vinegar and turmeric and spices and stuff like that. I didn't have any garlic, so I did put some minced onion in it, so hopefully it'll turn out good. Here, here's a picture. Just look at that, you guys. Don't they look delicious? I cannot wait to try them. So this recipe, I think it was like four cups vinegar, one cup water. There's like two tablespoons of salt and I think a tablespoon of vinegar and then a bunch of chili pepper flakes and some minced onion, some dried minced onion because I didn't have garlic. I cannot wait to try them. So I've got them in the refrigerator and uh, I think that's probably safest. I mean, in the past, I've left them out on the countertop, you know, or in a a cool dark place you know um, with the amount of vinegar and salt and sugar and whatnot that's in there you'd think that they would be preserved pretty well but just to be safe I'm putting them in the refrigerator um, because the the smaller jar I think I want to give that to Mr. Lucas if they turn out good so um, they need to sit for about two weeks really for full flavor I may try some in a couple of days and then when it's time, if I try some and I don't die, then I will go ahead and take some over to Mr. Lucas and see how he likes them. They're very, very tangy, much more tangy than the whiskey honey pickled eggs, but I just really love them. I love the turmeric. I love the color that it gives them. But anyhow, um, Lori Chalk, you know, when I did my last video on making the pickled eggs and I was having trouble peeling them, she suggested something very simple, and I tried it. She suggested just putting a little bit of olive oil in there. Well, guess what, you guys? I put a little bit of olive oil in there, and those shells came right off. So, Lori, you were right. You were absolutely right. Who would have thought that something so simple would be the solution, you know? Just put a little olive oil in there, and I had some, so that worked. Thank you, Lori. I love that suggestion, and I love the way... I love when people think simple, you know, when the simplest solution to things is how I like to go. So, yeah, Lori, you were dead on. You know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, not much else going on today. Uh, hopefully we'll get some sun tomorrow because I need to keep this refrigerator going. Um, so, I don't know. Just, just pray for sunshine. <laughs> I know I am. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one